Google debuting a slew of improvements to its AI chatbot, Bard. The update called Bard extensions are some of the biggest they have rolled out, and it will pull info from apps to find answers to users' questions from their Gmail, YouTube, and Docs. Dan Alley joins us to pick through it all. Connect the dots for us, Dan. How's it all going to work? That's right, Kiko. The, the new Bard extensions is coming to uh, the Bard chatbot. And basically what it'll do is allow you to pull up Bard uh, and then ask it questions. Uh, say you got an email from a friend who wanted to book a trip with you uh, and, you know, you want to <laughs> figure out when the dates were. But you don't want to have to sort through all of your emails. You can instead just ask Bard uh, what dates did you know, Mike suggest for our trip. Uh, and it will pull up those dates from those emails. It'll sort through all of your relevant uh, emails and give you that information. Also, will allow you to go and ask uh, what were the most important emails from the day or summarize my most important emails from the day. And rather than you having to sort through, you know, different promotional mails or, you know, just straight up nonsense that you may otherwise get, uh, it'll pull out the most relevant information that you need uh, and summarize it for you rather quickly. That The same can be said uh, for Google Docs uh, as well as Google Drive. It'll be able to pull information from those as well. And eventually, uh, Google says you'll be able to, uh, in uh, other apps, will be able to use this outside of just uh, Google's. Right now, in addition to uh, Gmail, Docs and Drive. You can use U uh, YouTube as well as Google Flights and Google Hotels to, to book hotels and book flights as well as look up information uh, for different uh, things on YouTube. So uh, that's the extension side of things. They also thankfully introduced a new fact check feature uh, which is called double check and basically if you try to get a prompt from uh, or you get a prompt from uh, uh, Bard, it will provide you with the means to click a little G Google logo uh, and then it'll go through what Bard provided you as an answer and tell you uh, this is either substantiated by Google search or uh, it's not substantiated by Google search. Uh, if it is substantiated, it'll be in green. If it's not, it'll be in orange. Any text that's not colored though, they can't really say uh, whether it's substantiated or not substantiated. So, you know, you got to kind of take that with a grain of salt. But obviously, uh, part of this is Google's way of fighting back against Microsoft's Bing as well as OpenAI's ChatGPT, which Microsoft has also invested heavily in. So it's Google's way of really trying to push its Bard forward and really try to get the most out of it so that people recognize it as the leader in AI uh, and not its rivals. Dan Halley, thank you as always for that insight, sir. We appreciate it.